Hi everyone, my name is Camille Adams and I am one of our registered dietitians here for the YMCA of Greater Grand Rapids. I'm so excited to film our Cook It Up recipes. Cook It Up is a program that we sponsor here at the YMCA. We go into elementary and middle schools all around Grand Rapids and we bring fresh produce and funky recipes that these kids may have never tried to those schools and those kids. We have instructors that go into our schools and they teach, just like you will see me teaching here, how to make functional recipes that will last for life. We also try to put a healthy twist on everything that we do. And I'm super excited to be here today. Today we are cooking it up with some guacamole. This is an incredibly easy, simple to put together dip that will change your party's life. What I mean by that is this is a great appetizer to bring to really spice up the flair and also to have as a super healthy and nutritious snack. So obviously the main ingredient in guacamole is avocado. Avocado is one of my favorite ingredients to work with. It is such a healthy fat, it is green, it's beautiful. You add a little bit of lime to it. You can use it in place of dairy or other fats. It's one of my favorite ingredients to use. We also have some red onion, some garlic, fresh tomato, a beautiful lime, some cilantro, fresh salt and pepper. And that's really it. It's so simple and quick to put together and now I'm gonna show you. The first thing I always start with is my avocado. Be very careful when cutting an avocado. You never want to cut your hand. So I cut all around until I can twist it open. Boom! Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Who doesn't love a beautiful avocado? I can take a picture just like this. Boom, click. So this is great. And you want to make sure to safely take the pit of your avocado out. Use the bottom part of your knife and just stick it in the pit, twist, just like that. And just repeat one more time for our second avocado. Depending on how many people you have, you may want to use more than two avocados. This will serve probably about four to five people. Just like that. Again, I'm getting so lucky with these avocados. Now, the easiest way for me to get the avocado into the bowl is I form some slices in it horizontally. Then I go back again, vertically, parallel, perpendicular, left and right, however you like to say it. Just be careful not to cut your hand until you have some beautiful squares just like this. Then I just squeeze it skin side into the bowl. This is so much easier than trying to scoop it out. I mean, done, just like that. So repeat with all your other avocados. This is half of the time that you'll spend on guacamole is the avocados. This is a great side dish. Again, great if you're dairy free or have any issues with dairy. Just great thing to substitute for sour cream. Just plain avocado alone. It's great. It's also great with fish or shrimp tacos. Okay, now take your potato masher or you could always use a fork as well. This is just what we had. Go ahead and go in and mash it up. We will mix it more, but this part, I like to mash it before we add all of our other chopped ingredients into it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just enough to get the little yellow part and the green parts combined as one. Some people like very smooth guacamole. Some people like it more chunky. I like it a little more chunky. Mash it to however you like it. Once it looks a little bit like this, kind of mashed up, you know you're ready to chop all your other ingredients. So I'm going to set this aside and start with my other ingredients. Just take a lime. We need about half a lime for this recipe. I'm rolling it out to really get the juices to come forward so when I'm ready to juice it, it'll just squeeze out very easy. Cut that in half, just like that. We are also going to use a red onion. We're probably gonna use about a fourth of a cup of red onion. Again, depending on how chunky or smooth you like your guacamole, it is up to you. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then cut it in half again. Peel the skin off or any layers that don't look that good. 
you're left with a beautiful onion. Red onion has a little bit more of a bright tanginess than a white onion, and it gives just beautiful color on that green base, so that's why I love using it. And I'm just gonna roughly chop it however you like to dice an onion. I do like half moon shapes, and then I just cut it again into little squares. And you can always go over it one or two more times if you want them to just be a little smaller. Just like that. Then we can add this right into our bowl. Let's go in with our garlic. Again, depending, guacamole is really up to you. So taste and observe, taste and observe. I always say, take a bite. Do you like it or not? Start with a little, you know, start with maybe one clove of garlic. Okay, a great way to get the skin off, you can always peel it off, but what I like to do is, is put your knife on the garlic, use the palm of your hand and get ready for the bang. Just a light tap will help the skin kind of come off and a friend taught me that. But however you would like to do it is up to you. Just get that clove out of there. Crushing garlic really brings out the aromatic flavors of it. And so the more you break it down, finer and finer, the more fragrant and flavorful it's going to get. So I chop it once, and then I go over and I chop it again into little smaller pieces. Simple as that. We're also gonna add that to our bowl. We are three fourths of the way there, yay. We only have two more things to add and then we can mix it all up. So we're going to cut up a half of our tomato. I'm gonna cut the vine part off, discard that, and then cut it in half again. With the tomato, I kind of like to cut into the skin side, not all the way, just about halfway to get some nice cut lines there. And then I go back the other way, and then I really chop it diagonally. And I don't know, it's just how I like to cut it. It kind of gives me little small pieces and helps me cut it fast. But if you have a sharp knife, it shouldn't be that hard to cut your tomato. I always grew up hearing, you have to have a serrated knife to chop a tomato. I think that they just needed to sharpen their knives. So again, with the tomato, you want it to be a little bit similar size to the onion, again, because you want a little bit of everything in each bite of the guac. So the smaller pieces, the more it's going to be distributed into the dip. Again, they just add a really nice pop of color. They're beautiful in red. They're rich in vitamin A. Tomatoes are great for your heart health as well. We can get this into our bowl as well. We are so close, we're almost there. Now, take as much cilantro as you'd like. I love cilantro, I love how it smells, I love how it tastes, so I'm gonna take a good amount of our cilantro. This is probably about half of a cup. I'll set the rest aside. I like to chop my cilantro up pretty small, so I kind of roll it all into a ball. Have good knife control, and then just chop it. Rolling it up, again, kind of increases that surface area. It lets you chop it really fine. I go over it in the other direction. I love the sound of chopping. It's very relaxing to me. I just go over it, as you can see, about three or four times until it's a, a fine texture. Again, because this is going to make sure the cilantro gets everywhere in our dip for maximum flavor. Your guac can be as simple as lime, salt, and pepper, or hooked up like mine. Now everything is in our guac and it is ready to top with some salt, pepper, and lime. Mix up and let's dig in. So the lime, I'm going to use half of a lime. 
The lime is great because it gives the food an acid. And when you add acid to it, it can help the guac stay green. If you've ever seen guac left out for a long time, sometimes it turns kind of brown, which is normal because oxygen is going into it. So this will help preserve that color and it adds a great brightness to it as well. Now we're gonna do some liberal salt, so about two pinches in there. Salt is a great seasoning for guac, again, brings everything out. And then just a pinch of pepper. Now it is time to mix it up. I cannot wait to try this. I might have to take a bite on camera. Mix everything together and this will taste so good, so fresh, 100% better than any store-bought guacamole you could buy. Who doesn't like fresh, you know what I mean? It smells so good. Oh, the fresh cilantro, I smell lime. I feel like I am in Cabo. I feel like I'm in Tulum, Cancun. It's wonderful. Or the restaurants where they make the guac right at your table. That's always fun. Awesome. I think that we are ready to be done. We have some beautiful chips on the side to dip our guac with. And look at how beautiful this is. It's bright, it's colorful, salty, a hint of citrusy with the lime, fatty, creamy with the avocado. And there you have it. Let me get a little scooper, a whole wheat tortilla chip. This is our cook it up guacamole. If you want more ideas or you would like to share your guacamole with us, visit grymca.org.